Welcome, Mark, to the Flagstaff Gallery. Can you please tell us a little bit about your background with regard to art and how you got involved in being a professional artist? Um, it all probably started through work. I worked for a company called ArtRight, a screen printing company. Um, although I had a lot of time with art through school and um, a lot of passion for it then as well. It really kicked off when I met a whole bunch of different artists and whatnot, um, working with them and doing work in limited edition screen prints for them. Uh, that really got the, the old ticker going in the, in the, in the brain and um, made me think, actually, I can make images and I can do this myself. So I started part-time and then just recently went full-time and um, moved on from there. Yeah. And uh, is that why you have chosen to stay with screen printing? Um, yeah, I always think that working to your strengths is a, is a good start and I know screen printing well. Um, it's something that I'm good at and I know that I can um, work with that process quite easily. Uh, I also love painting. Um, yeah, sometimes I like to call myself an image maker rather than an artist. I like to put images together um, and that works really well with printing. You can kind of get the process working and kind of link things or layer things and make it work well. So yeah, mainly just because it's a, a real strong strength for me that I'll stick with that, yeah. And what is the primary motivation behind your work? Um, often to be cheeky sometimes, I guess. Um, I, I, like, I like it to be a little bit light and not too heavy. Um, so I like to look at things from a slightly different point of view. I don't like to get stuck um, just doing pictures of something. I'd rather have it kind of have a little twist to it somewhere along the way. So the motivation is to kind of say something reasonably not obvious, but then have it a little bit pulled back so people have to think just a touch just to kind of get it and often a little bit of a quirk or a joke in there as well. Is that idea of tweaking the image why you would refer to yourself as an image maker? Yeah, quite possibly, yeah. Um, yeah, because it's never, I guess the process never is um, from start to finish. I never know when, exactly where I'm going. So it's about changing the images as I go and tweaking and creating that image that I want, yeah. Uh, what themes or issues do you wish the viewer to take away when they view your work? Um, what themes or issues? I, want, I always think about this one, I always think, first of all, I just want people to enjoy looking at it. Um, like I said, I guess I like the, the stuff reasonably light sometimes, um, so I'm not going into deep issues or anything like that all the time, sometimes, but um, I think I want people to go away and enjoy looking at the image. I think if you're making images that people are going to be putting on their walls and living with, first and foremost, they've got to look good, I think. And so I just want people to really enjoy experiencing the image, yeah. Are there any artists that have influenced you? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, if I went from New Zealand artist, Dick Frizzell's um, one that I've worked with through my job um, and spent time working and doing prints for him. and. Um, he, in lots of ways, comes from an advertising sort of background as well and um, works in that, a similar sort of way that I would like to work. Um, and uh, Robert and Deanna from the States, um, in terms of not necessarily image, but processes and how they do the work, um, Stanley Palmer from New Zealand and uh, Michael Smither. Um, lots of people who I've, I've worked with within, the, um, within my work that I've done, yeah. As an artist creating work in New Zealand, are there any challenges that you face? Um, I'm sure. I'm sure there are. It's a it's a smaller group of people, I guess, than most people, most places. Um, so, and probably a large amount of creative people. Um, I think New Zealand's a country that probably prides itself on that creativity and ability to to um, do well on that. So the challenges are. Um, competition but <laughs> other other people around doing the same thing and you're all, all trying to say your work but in other ways that can be a great thing as well so uh, yeah challenges usually have your good sides as well that can push you to do do better has New Zealand culture influenced your work in any way yeah, I, I don't think you can say it doesn't like it's um I've done a bit of traveling around and the New Zealand culture is definitely a culture which um is very yeah, it kind of rubs off on you. It's um, one that I I love, and it is um, 
it kind of yeah makes me who I am in a lot of ways. Uh, so the the history, the, the culture, what the country's been through, and um, yeah, in some ways that sort of cheeky Kiwi personality as well, and um, lightheartedness, uh, yeah, comes through in me in a lot of ways. What excites you most about going to New York? Oh, just going to New York, really. It's New York, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Um, yeah, it's. I don't know. You, you can. I guess it's part of the New Zealand culture as well. We're a small little country, and we probably like to think we punch above our weight a lot of the time. And um, going to a big city like New York, although I'm not overwhelmed by it, it's just kind of that's kind of cool. And it, like, who knows what comes from it and what happens, but it's a pretty exciting prospect. What do you hope to bring to the exhibition? Um, works itself. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, something different and something fresh. Uh, hopefully something that not necessarily stands above, but stands with the others, but stands apart, if that makes sense. So something that's um, different, but still fits in with the, the whole show, yeah. And finally, what are your thoughts on the Flagstaff Gallery bringing contemporary New Zealand art to New York? Oh, I love it. Flagstaff's great. and. Um, yeah, definitely just the initiative to do this and put the time and effort in to do this is amazing. And um, you can see through the updates and everything that we get, there's a lot of time put into it. And um, it's really exciting to be a part of something like that and um, an honour to, to have a the opportunity to do, to do that. Yeah, it's great. Great. Thank you, Mark. Best of luck in New York.